But problems like this one, this is kind of like the root thing. I'm, I'm not going to overcomplicate this one. Just if you get, doesn't matter if you got x squareds or x's, whatever you got in this, something like this. Um, you could even look to factor it, but it's not going to make a difference. This one just goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Again, this is just a domain question, right? We're not asking what values of x, um, uh, or, or if you replace x with some value, what value you get out of it, right? Input and output kind of stuff. We're just saying what values can you put into x and still get some kind of value out, some kind of real value out. And yeah, anything but negative infinity and positive infinity will work. You could even say, look, I'm going to replace the x with zeros, right? You'd end up with negative 13. That's fine. You can end up with negative values. You can end up with zero with positive values, fractions or decimals. Uh, but anything would work in this type of equation. So don't be fooled that this one is kind of long. What is that, five terms right there? The length of it doesn't matter. Again, we're only focused right now, at least, if, there's, if there is roots, which there is none in this problem, or if there's denominators, which, again, there is none in this problem. So. Now, do keep in mind in this, just because in the future, if some of you guys choose to take um, some more advanced classes. They'll ask for range on this, which is a little bit different, okay? But we don't have to worry about that right now.